guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and the most requested ROM for the Nexus 7 has been the AOKP ROM, so that's the ROM I'm going to cover today. And boy, is it a fast ROM. It really is a very fast ROM. Uh, it is Jelly Bean, so we'll go to Settings and About Tablet. And you'll see that I'm running 4.1.1. Uh, this is the first Jelly Bean build of AOKP for the Nexus 7. Uh, it is build 1. Now, it has been updated since I installed this about a week and a half ago. Uh, I am running a different kernel than the kernel that it comes with. It comes with the lean kernel, but I'm running the Clemson kernel, uh, which is giving me very good results. Um, I actually really like that kernel a lot. So that is what I'm running on this and one thing about AOKP is it just has tons and tons of features. Uh, so first of all, it is very stable. It's very fluid. The battery life has been superb uh, running AOKP. If you run the stock kernel, you'll probably get even better battery life. The Clemson kernel, you can overclock and underclock, but it's set up really to perform uh, best when it's stock. So I've kind of been running it stock, and because of that, I have gotten really excellent battery life. Um, it did stand by for five days and still had 30 percent i put it on the charger last night just because i knew i was going to review this rom um, but like i said it had been standing by for five days and i had used it the day before we left on vacation this weekend for labor day uh, but anyways we'll get into the settings and we'll get into the aokp rom control so there's lots of stuff that you can do here of course you can go to about aokp and learn about the aokp team um, you can go into general ui and there's several changes that you can make here. The one that I always like to do here is the custom care label. Of course, I put Droid Monitor X there. You can change the notification bar background. So this would be your transparency here. So once you set that, uh, you see the notification background there, the transparency there. Uh, it kind of darkened it out some. If I go ahead and set it higher, it takes a few seconds to take effect here. It seems to take really two or three seconds. But as soon as it comes back up, I'll show you the difference. And there's the difference. So you can actually choose a notification background. Uh, I went to uh, the gallery. Or maybe I went to the file manager. Let's see, I went to the file manager and I had downloaded some backgrounds for the AOKP. So this is the picture that I chose. And when I pull that down after it takes effect here in about two or three seconds, there it is. So you can actually change that. You can go to your gallery and select anything from the gallery, or you'll have to download and put into your file manager whatever picture you want behind there. Uh, so if I swipe away my emails, you see that I had just an AOKP image for the background which is really cool. If we go back, we can go to the lock screen options. You can choose a lock screen wallpaper, same way that you choose the background. Uh, you can choose the lock screen text color. So I went with white, but you know maybe I want to see my clock a little better. I could go with black. And you can choose to have battery percentage there on the lock screen. And let's see what else. You can choose uh, volume to wake on the lock screen, and you can put your quick pin there as well navigation bar that would be these buttons here uh, you can change your menu location you can change the quantity I believe it's up to five yep you can have up to five there and we'll go ahead and set it to f let's see we'll go ahead and set it to four and that way I can show you guys how to change the icon and the action. We go to a custom application and we'll go to applications and we can choose to go with, we'll just go with Twitter. And there's my little Twitter image there on the navigation bar. You can change the glow animation so you can have that to be super quick. So when you go home, the animation was so quick I could barely see it. We'll go back to settings and continue going through our ROM control. So you can actually change the color of the buttons here. And you can change your nav bar height, which I've done to give myself more screen real estate for when I'm browsing the web or watching a video. You can change the width and you can change the uh, transparency. So you can go less transparent or more transparent. If we go back, 
we have battery controls here we can change the icon style so I have text only so you can see the text there and you can do a battery bar like the my UI and you can change the color there and you can also change the thickness if we go to clock you can put that in the center if you like actually no here you cannot you can have either right clock or no clock you can choose the AM PM style and then you can change the color there as well just to show you how easy it is to change the settings toggles lots and lots of settings and toggles here you can enable your toggles you can change the order there you can choose the toggle layout so if you wanted to just go old school layout there's your old school layout very clean uh, you can change the style so if you want an icon only or text only and there is your icon only you can change the text color um, you can enable the indicator and change the background there as well you can change all your sound and weather options and most importantly you can change your performance options so this is where you can overclock and underclock all the way up to 1800 megahertz that is only on the Clemson kernel if you're running the stock kernel I believe you can go all the way up to 1600 megahertz 1800 and it becomes um, it's still pretty stable if you go more than 1800 like on the test version of the Clemson kernel uh, then your system may crash a lot you can also choose an, a governor here as well so that's pretty much all of the included features in AOKP there are AOKP wallpapers so we can go to swag papers and there are actually some new ones here so there's several to choose from and you do have a reboot menu as well so you can reboot directly into recovery which is what we'll do now uh, to install this ROM you want to be sure that you have the AOKP ROM and you want to have your Jelly Bean G apps I have a link in the description for both of those and install this is very simple you need to be unlocked you need to be rooted and you need to have a custom recovery installed so my preferred custom recovery is Team Win Recovery Project. I just prefer the the user interface, very easy to navigate, and also you can charge your battery while in Team Win Recovery, which is pretty cool. So the first thing we want to do here is go to Wipe, Factory Reset, Swipe to Wipe, Cache, Swipe to Wipe, Davit Cache, Swipe to Wipe, and then we'll go back to Install, and we're just looking for the AOKP. Maybe it's this. TS Alpha 64. I cannot remember how it downloaded. That's probably it. So we'll go ahead and select that. Swipe to Flash. That's going to take one or two minutes. Then you're going to want to make sure you install your Jelly Bean G apps. It'll be G apps JB for Jelly Bean. Swipe to Flash. And if you have a custom kernel like I had, the you you can go ahead and install that here as well. You just select that and swipe to Flash. When that's all finished, you're going to go back and reboot the system. And it does come with a new custom boot animation. This is just the AOKP Unicorn boot animation, which some people love, some people hate. If you saw in settings, I don't know, I know I didn't point it out, but it was there. You can actually turn this boot animation off if you don't like it, and you'll just have the stock Android boot animation. So there is the AOKP boot animation. It's pretty cool. Guys, that has been all for the AOKP ROM on the Nexus 7. You can check me out at droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and technology news. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Be sure to check out my Nexus 7 giveaway video. You have until this Friday to leave your comment. Only one per day on that, and I'll leave a link in the description for that giveaway. Also, uh, just be sure to subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Nexus 7 and other Android devices. There's a ton that are coming for the holiday season, so you want to be sure that you're subscribed for that. Also, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if it helps you in any way. When you give me a thumbs up, it definitely helps me out, and I really do appreciate that. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.